Hi, this is Dave with uh, Tesla Tech, and this video is in response to um, Don Scott and his Berkner currents and how they wrap around the outside in one direction and then come back, wrap around the other way so that it looks like a fascist. Um, anyways, let's let's. Uh, this is also going to show. Um, the wave as it adds it to the standing wave. Once, once wave gets down here and hits the C clamp, and reflects, it's creating a standing wave after that. Um, and you can see how the wave goes down one one way down here to the C clamp, reflects back, and then comes back again. And each time, it's adding power. Um, to the standing wave. Um, I'll only have a few, few times to show what's actually going on before we get past this calibration line here because I've got because the what I've got the amplitude set at. Um, but let's let's watch it here. Okay. Right there it's hitting the seat clamp. Okay. And it's going to reflect back and you can see that right there it's heading down this way now um, okay. actually you can see but you see how these two are higher before it's still heading down this way and this is a lower amplitude these are all higher that's wrapping around the outside okay so each time that there's power added to this as the wave is being pumped into it goes down and reflects back it's wrapping around the outside just like Don Scott is talking about with the Birkeland currents um, I'm thinking that Berkeley currents are just a form of a standing wave. Um, see, it's almost all the way back now. But each time it does that, it's adding power to the Berkeley current or the standing wave, whatever you want to call it. Um, Alright, so now it's going to head back towards the C clamp again, and you'll see. The amplitude is higher here, so it's to the outside of the standing wave, wrapping back around. <clears throat> see, you see the wave is heading back towards the C-clamp now. And each time that it does that, it's adding power to it. See, now this one, these two and this one down here are higher amplitude than that so it's to the outside it's wrapping around just like Don Scott is talking about with the Birkin currents uh, just go ahead and back to the C clamp you see these are all higher now and this is a lower power so it's t it's to the outside of the standing wave um, that's exactly what Don Scott is explaining showing with the Bergman currents and how they wrap around on the outside and make like a fascist. I have a hard time pronouncing that <laughs> name. Um, see, these are all higher now and this one is the lowest. Um, it's, it's about to hit the C clamp and reflect back. Yeah, see, now this next cycle is going to reflect and come back so the higher amplitude then will be on that end uh, let's see oh, right there see it hit that calibration line I had set up these are all lower this one and this one are higher it's to the outside it's wrapping around yeah. still higher this one's higher now and these are lower so it's you know it's actually wrapping around the outside like Don Scott shows with Birkin cur currents 
Um, I think Birkin currents are just another form of a standing wave. Um, and you have to remember this is this is showing the, the fine details, something you can't see on an oscilloscope or anything because especially depending on the frequency, we're at 2.5 hertz here now, but if you're working in kilohertz or megahertz or gigahertz, you're not going to see this kind of stuff on screen. I mean, this is looking, this is looking at the, this is amplifying it and looking at the little tiny, you know, uh, I won't say it on the video. <laughs> uh, there, now they're all up there to that calibration line. So it's, it's adding power every time it, it, um, wraps around now it's heading back down towards the c-clamp all these are lower and this one's higher so it's to the outside that it's wrapping around this is exactly what Don Scott is showing see we're heading back towards the c-clamp here now um, it's really blowing my mind how much stuff is just uh, falling together and and the things that I can show with this uh, wave on a string app is amazing um, let this go a little bit more and then we're gonna be going off screen here so can't really show too much now they're all over this one's lower okay um, but these are all higher so it's about ready to hit the c-clamp again I believe is that right must be yeah now it's gonna yeah it's heading back towards the towards the uh, pump this, the pendulum is pumping it in there yeah see, it's heading back this way now and so you can see this one's higher than all the rest of these and this one's higher because the wave is here um, it's going to add then to this one. It's going to go up higher than this one. It's wrapping around the outside, uh, just like Don Scott shows or talks about with Birkeland currents. Yeah, these two are higher now. These two are higher, and these two are lower power. But every time it goes down the C clamp and reflects back, it's adding power to the standing wave and it's it's actually so you know he says that current goes one way and current goes comes back the other way um, you know what I'm talking about most of the time is a standing wave around the earth around the globe so I'm not sure how that relates to in space and um, in it being stationary Tesla called it stationary waves um, and to me, when it's on the earth around the globe like that and it's stationary, there's no current. It's a voltage only. So, whether things are moving in space and that means there's current moving or not, or, or, well, there's got to be current because they're seeing magnetic fields. So, um, somehow, you know, it, it Standing waves, I think, are just uh, the precursor of uh, Birkeland currents. I don't know how else to say it. So, but you can see, okay, it's going to go back to the plunger now where it's pumping all the power in. Um, and then it's going to start heading back towards the sea clamp again. But we won't be able to see the difference in amplitude very much because uh, other than you can kind of tell that these aren't like these two uh, it's getting kind of hard to tell once it goes off screen but uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you and how this relates to what Don Scott's talking about with Birkeland current um, so I guess that's it uh, this was Dave with uh, Tesla Tech and we'll talk to you all later